I was going to write a note, but I'm not a coward. At least I don't want to be. Not anymore. Then again, this won't be the first time I've found my courage in a single malt. Courage for what? Saying goodbye. I'm leaving, Bruce. Okay, then. Really? That's all. Well, what do you want me to say? If you want to go, Alfred, go. Who am I to stand in your way? Very well, then. Since you seem to care little for my reasons, I'll be on my way. Rubbish goes out on Tuesday, and there's lasagna in the freezer. I'm sure you'll manage. I'm leaving, Bruce. You just need rest, Alfred. Why don't you take a long vacation? Some place in the sun, on the other side of the world from Gotham. I rather think this vacation will be permanent. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. You can't leave me, Alfred. I know things have been hard, but they'll get Bruce, better. please, don't try and stop me. My decision is already made. Your protestations, well, they won't make things any easier. But why? This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I'm leaving, Bruce. It's time I went in search of better pastures. I know it's a lot to take in, but hear me out. This war of ours is not what it was when we started. I no longer have the stomach for it. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. I know what you're thinking, but please, hear me out. Our mission used to be so clear. It's not sustainable. So, take a back seat from the operations. Put your feet up for a while. Keep us stocked with cucumber sandwiches and tea. And just stand idly by while your enemies rend you limb from limb. Do a little dusting while you bleed out on the Batcave floor. I don't think so. Our mission used to be so clear. It's not sustainable. So what? You're just gonna walk away? I thought you said you weren't a coward. You know this isn't easy for me. Easier than continuing to fight, apparently. Our mission used to be so clear. It's not sustainable. At least not for me. Come on, Alfred. You know I can't do what I do, what we do, without your help. Well, maybe you don't have to do it at all. Our mission used to be so clear. Catch the criminals, lock them up. But nothing is clear anymore. At least not to me. Now everything has become so gray. <laughs> gray? Talk to me, Alfred. We used John Doe, exploited his friendship to get you into the pact. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. I'll admit that wasn't our finest moment, but at the time it seemed like our best course of action. Precisely my point. Our best judgment is no longer good enough. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Well, it worked, didn't it? If you call citywide devastation a success. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum, for God's sake. Someone clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. If I knew then what I know now, I'd never have let you go through with it. We took advantage of someone you met in an asylum for God, clearly challenged with a proven tendency to violence. If I recall, you were on board with that plan. Bane had just dropped a wall on your head. It clouded my judgment. If I knew then what I know now, I'd never have let you go through with it. 
You empowered John Doe, kept him close when you should have put him away, inspired him to become something far more dangerous than he ever was. What's your point? So if I knew then what I know now, I'd never have let you go through with it. You led John Doe to believe you were his friend. Turning on him when he killed those agents, that pushed him to become Joker. What's your point? Sometimes, it's as if Batman creates the evil he means to destroy. For all our good intentions, I fear we only make things worse. A dreadful thought, I know. How many whiskeys is that, Alfred? <laughs> Not nearly enough. Anyone who comes into contact with us, suffers. A dreadful thought, I know. I'm not blind to the damage I cause, nor am I to the chaos that swirls in Gotham. But I have to believe the good outweighs the bad. I thought you did too. Not anymore. Anyone who comes into contact with us, suffers. Little thought, I know, but one that keeps me awake at night. Two-Face, Cobblepot, Lady Arkham, Joker, all they have in common is you. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. A dreadful thought, I know. Oh, please. There were plenty of criminals around before Batman showed up. I put most of them in jail. Two-Face, Cobblepot, Lady Arkham, Joker, all they have in common is you. Anyone who comes into contact with us suffers. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. She's Waller's creature now. Driven to her by our secrets. Another casualty of our mission. She was on Joker's guest list because of her relationship to you. Selina, too. Lucius is gone. Tiffany has blood on her hands. I foolishly thought bringing her in might make things better. As if her enthusiasm might remind us how things were in the beginning. She was on Joker's guest list because of her relationship to you. Selina, too. It's a miracle any of us survived that ghastly dinner. But Joker certainly made his point. The lives we touch are touched by pain. Friends, colleagues, innocents. You think I want that? We can fix the problem, Al, but not if we run from it. Unless we are the problem. Leaving this all behind might be the only solution. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. Friends, colleagues, innocents. That's a price I'm willing to pay. In war, there are always casualties. But it doesn't mean you give up the fight. I've served in my share of wars, Bruce. More even than you. There are some fights you cannot win. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. Friends, <laughs> colleagues, innocents. What we do is hard, Alfred. But whining about it won't solve anything. You're right. You won't have to hear much more from me. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. Friends, colleagues, innocents, no one is spared. You won't have to hear much more from me. One thing is for certain, my tremors are gone. <laughs> well, that's great news, Al. They stopped the minute I made the decision to go. I thought it was the kidnapping with Lady Arkham that caused them some kind of residual trauma. But I had it wrong. This sense of powerlessness I've been feeling, it came from something I saw in you. The tremors, the fainting spells, all of it. Don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. The tremors, the fainting spells. Don't blame me for your hands, Alfred. You knew what you were getting into. <sighs> no, no, I'm sorry, Bruce. That's not what I meant at all. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. The fainting spells. Alfred, I'm... I'm so sorry. I've caused you so much pain. No, no, please, don't misunderstand me. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. 
Do you really think I'm that bad? No, no, I'm sorry, Bruce. That's not what I meant at all. Let me explain. Your father was driven by an obsession, by a need to control. He rushed headlong into the darkness, thinking himself invincible, oblivious to the cost. Just like you, not like me. I chase that darkness away. And yet, history is repeating itself. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Seriously, Alfred. Does telling yourself stories help you sleep at night? The worse I am, the easier it is to leave. That's not it at all. Then what? Why compare me to my father? Because you'll end up in the same place. Face down in an alley. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Okay, maybe I am more like my father than I want to admit, but our paths are different. Can't you see? The paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Alfred, these comparisons... You knew the evil my father was capable of. You think you see that in me? I said nothing about evil, Bruce. Then what are you saying? I'm saying you'll end up in the same place. Face down in an alley. I'm more certain of that with every passing day. Don't you see? Your paths may diverge, but they end in the same place. Face down in an alley. Shot in the dark by criminals in some godforsaken corner of Gotham. I won't be witness to that. I won't bury you, too. I stood by and did nothing while Thomas destroyed himself, along with everything he loved. I enabled him, like I've been enabling you. Realizing this, I've never felt so helpless. I wanted things to be different for you, my boy. You deserved a better life than the one I gave you. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. Joe Chill's bullet shattered what was left of your family. I was there to pick up the pieces, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. You did the best you could, Al. In a single night, the family was shattered, and you were left to pick up the pieces. I may have picked them up, but I did a poor job sticking them back together. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. Alfred, I'm... <laughs> I'm nothing without you. You're my father. The best father anyone could have hoped for. A good father wants his children to be happy and safe. Seeing how far you are from either, it's why I have to go. I failed you, and for that I'm sorry. We failed each other, Alfred. My obsession, my relentless effort to stop crime, I should have seen the harm it was causing you. A father takes care of his son, Bruce, guides him through the world, not the other way around. Well, I don't want to miss my flight. There's always traffic around the airport. You don't have to do it, Bruce. There are other ways of doing good in the world. But you, you pour everything into your bloody crusade. And I know you too well to hope you'll ever change. who I am. I will always be Batman. And that will never change. I know. Rubbish goes out on Tuesday, and there's lasagna in the freezer. I'm sure you'll manage.
Alfred, wait. Would you stay if I promised things would be different? Is that a promise you can keep? Like you said, there are a lot of ways to help. I'm sure the city could use a man of my talent and resources. Are you sure about this? I'll do whatever it takes to keep our family together, Al. Even this. So please, tell me you'll stay. Well, maybe just one more night. <laughs>